Hi, this is Phoenix Genesis for phoenixgenesis.com and our two YouTube channels, Phoenix Genesis and Fry Camp. And we're training for the Pacific Crest Trail 2018 through hike. And Jake is going to go with me. Uh, he's gone on one uh, shakedown hike this year. Uh, Ray did two shakedown hikes in 2016. He's too old. He's not his long distance hiking days are over, but we're, he still trains with us five miles a day. Yay, go Ray. So I want to talk about uh, training your dog to be off leash because um, if you do a trail or even walk anywhere, especially with a husky, they have a tendency to bolt and run and not come back. So I, um, I've i started some off leash training. You look at my videos when he was about six, seven weeks old and we've just continually worked on it. And um, I would start, I wouldn't do it in a dog park, there's too many distractions, do it at home or a friend's house or somewhere where it's like a fenced in area. There are some gaps in this fence, we're at a local park, uh, but not enough and when he's going I'm like, Jake stay in the grass. So what I, you'll see I do, now Ray, he's, he has no leash on him because I attach uh, Ray's leash, so I have about eight feet of leash on Jake right now. And what we did is we sat just nicely and I petted him so I let him know it's okay. I'm not gonna like restrain him the moment I touch him. That's very, very important. And I just let the two of them buzz around and I'll walk around with them. Right now I'm making the video so I won't, but they're still within um, eye shot and that part's fenced in. There is one gap in the gate, but he knows he has to stay in the grass. But just basically the long, the long extended leash is great because um, it'll be easy to catch him. If I come up to him, I can grab that leash or step on the leash and look at there's a giant bird. That's what he's interested in that big hawk up in the tree so um, just letting him be kind of relaxed not an agitated state uh, calm is very very good and just let him explore a little bit Ray Ray come here come here baby no treats notice no clicker no treats I'm just asking him to come to me and that's it he came to me good job Ray Ray I can leave when we were in the um, Sierra's I could leave him and walk a mile down to the water source and come back and and we had no tent we were cowboy camping he was not tied up and he would sit right there and that's the kind of obedience you need if you're going to take your dog in the wilderness because anything a, a coyote could lure your dog away and um, have another pack of coyotes and kill your dog your dog could fall in the river a lot of things can happen your dog rattlesnakes so you need that absolute total obedience so now if i do need jake to come to me jake jake you want a treat there we go and normally i'll phase out the treat but in this case he was really good so we're going to reward him so here we go let's have it gently there we go good boy and see i'll pet him but i will not take that leash from him because i don't want him to feel that that's like a trick and okay, Ray, you were really good too. You can have a treat. He's like, I want a treat too. I've been in, I'm in this video. I want my roll too. So there you go, you had your treat. So um, then if, like I said, I need the leash, I'll just grab it. But right now I don't want him to feel like I tricked him to get restrained. So when I do want him, I won't use a treat and I'll just go get him. So I hope that helps you. Again, I hope you're out walking. Uh, we did a really hard uh, training yesterday. We did uh, five miles in the hills with uh, 23 floors of climbing. So we're all a little tired. So we did 0.8 miles so far and we're just gonna just kick it in the park for maybe a half hour. And then we'll go to the next park and we'll do uh, like crank out three miles. I'll take Ray home so he can recover and Jake and I will do maybe another three miles. Uh, I think I wanna do 12,000 nice slow flat steps today. Anyway, Phoenix Genesis, I'll see you on the trail.